hello guys welcome back and today I am starting a new tutorial series where we will explore uh, the possibilities of a 3d no sorry not 3d a circular 2d uh, endless runner game so what it's basically do is uh, you can run endlessly in a circular world and uh, it's obviously a 2d circular world and uh, you can collect uh, different kind of coins and you have to uh, avoid the obstacles and things like that so it's basically the same thing like a 2d uh, endless runner game but we are doing it in a like uh, in a circular world okay so what's the challenge is the the problem is that in a circular world the gravity is kind of different right so now this is similar to a plane ground but when you are rotating like this the object should be pulled down to the surface in this manner right it will be like a angular uh, thing so it's not similar to a plane the gravity in a plane so that's the thing I'm gonna discuss today in today's tutorial I'll show you how you can develop a circular gravitation system for your 2d game so let's get started so first thing we need to know is the equations we will need so this is the newton's law of universal gravitation so newton said that something like this <laughs> and this is proportional uh, the the force is proportional to the multiplication of two objects mass divided by the distance between them and this proportional thing can be substituted by this um, constant this constant is called the universal gravitational constant i don't want to like uh, dive into the physics terms but if we use this constant like this the value is really small so in that case we might need to use the m and m m1 and m2 really big so for example um, as this is an um, universal gravitational constant so this mass are actually one of the mass is a mass of a planet maybe so for example the mass of earth is something like this so when you apply this mass with this uh, constant then it might make sense but if you use this constant in your game and use a really large value this might not make sense in lot of times so i prefer not to use like this constant rather than you will just use a random constant um, a smaller value that will be reasonable for our game right so it's totally up to you again you there is no allegation to use this one you can always use this one but uh, i'm gonna use a smaller uh, less smaller value a bigger value uh, rather than using this constant value okay so long story short we are going to implement this uh, particular equation it's pretty simple right so let's get started So first of all we'll need a player and an earth. So for simplicity I'm gonna use a circular game object, a circle, and I'm gonna rename this to okay, great. The art is uh, bigger than the player, so let's uh, scale it up. A little bit something like this maybe and uh, for the player just uh, scale it down uh, yeah I think so uh, it's okay um, now we are uh, there are several go. way to configure the physics what I'm gonna do I'm gonna assign a physics component to the player and I'll assume some mass to the earth so what you could also do you could 
also assign a rigid body to the earth and assign the uh, mass there but as in my project in my way there will not be any physics applied to the earth all the physics will be applied to the player okay so that's why i am gonna use a rigid body with this player why because this player will always be uh, attracted to the center of this art so i'm gonna apply a force to this player to apply a force to this player i'll need a rigid body sounds good next we'll need two collider for both of these two player so let's add circle collider here you go nice now if i start playing the game we'll see that the player is now uh, is attracted to the ground as usual but the problem is that um it's only for plane surface so if the player sides uh, just sides a little bit it will fall down from the ground so we need a script that will um, confirm that the player is always attracted to the center of this earth right so let's create a new c sharp script uh, i have already created one and the first thing we need if you remember the equation we need the uh, the mass of the two component right so let's uh, declare a variable for the mass of earth and for the mass of the player what i am going to do oh, what okay so for the mass of the uh, uh, player i am going to use the rigid body component assigned to this particular uh, game object so uh, this script will be assigned to the player right uh, and the player has a rigid body right yeah so this component will be applied to the player and this player has a rigid body and inside the rigid body you can see that there is a field called the mass so that's why we don't need to uh, declare any kind of variable or we don't need any um, public variable for the mass we can simply get the mass of this player from the rigid body so here is the rigid body of the player and we are gonna assign the rigid body with get component and also the mass of the player will be rigid body dot mass nice so the next thing we need is the distance between the player and the earth right so let's create another floating type variable call it distance and we'll measure this distance with the uh, with a vector right um, because um yeah hold on it's compiling the script <laughs> okay so the distance between the player and the earth will be the difference between the vector right if we know the position of these two component then we can easily um, apply the distance so that's why what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another another uh, variable here call it the center of the earth obviously you could uh, just uh, create this variable public and assign a distance by your own but i feel this way is better because it can be applied to any distance if your player uh, if you're uh, like uh, if the if the distance if it's not circular if it's uh, parabolic 
then you might uh, need to get the distance like a variable right so it might be updated when the player is here then the distance might be a little bit bigger than it being here so that's why i think that this is a better solution rather than just putting a public variable and assigning a random number on to it great uh, so that's pretty much it we need to add some force so for applying the force we need two things the value of the force right so we need value and direction of the force so first of all let's uh, create the uh, the force value maybe I'll make it so uh, this force value will be the equation that we saw earlier so that will be the mass of the earth into the mass of the player divided by the distance uh, square right okay and uh, also uh, there was one constant so I am gonna use a public floating type variable call it the Z and again this I am gonna use a really small uh, random number on this g i'm not going to use that uh, constant because uh, none of my object has a really big mass so that's why i don't uh, feel like using a really small number uh, to this particular com constant okay uh, great now add this force value with a direction right so now we also need a direction so for the direction we need a vector 3 force direction and the direction will be the direction will be the center of the earth minus the mm, transform of this player and we should normalize this so what normalize does it will make uh, the vector into a unit vector and only consider the direction not the value okay so we get the value from here and we get the direction from here so force direction great finally i forgot to assign any distance because now as you can see the distance will be zero or as i said you can put some random value but i like to calculate the distance so uh, the distance will be the difference between the center of the earth so vector 3 dot, dot distance between the uh, the center of the earth dot transform and sorry dot position and position of this game object so I think now if we run this project it will work let's try it out so this is our player and we need the center of the earth the mass of the earth mm, i'm gonna put 100 so remember the mass if the mass is big the force will be bigger right uh, so allow apply the mass in your own way i don't know what kind of planet you are designing if your uh, planet has a really uh, huge gravity then your mass would be bigger 
so let's try it so as you can see the player is now grounded to the earth and now if I put it here there are some error what was there oh it's all it's nothing it's a GU I think I don't I don't know what happens to unity sometimes okay so as you can see my uh, my script is not working so why is that because there is one gravity scale here so because now reservoir is also applying this gravity to my component but I don't need this gravity I already applied my own gravity in my script so just uh, make the gravity scale to zero and retry this project okay. yeah it's working so my player is now grounded no matter where I put it if I put it here it will be attracted to the ground because that is the arts ground right no matter in which circular path you are in it will be always uh, attracted to the central of the earth great now you know how to develop a circular gravity for your game so in the next tutorial I will um, show you how can you uh, add some control on this player so that we can move it um, like this game to left and right so I think you should try it by yourself before I go there so it's simple you have to think something regarding the rotation of this object so let's try it and let me know in the comment section the, the problem you face and if you have any suggestion if you have any critique regarding my works then also let me know thank you for watching the video I'll see you in the next class till then goodbye